Okay. Alright, thank you. Uh, so everything's working, I hope. Um, gonna get ready here. Okay. We're just gonna skip the story. And timing starts when I gain control of Mickey, which will be... I'll say now when it's gonna start. Timing starts... now. Alright, so the very first screen of the game, we actually have multiple one-frame tricks coming up. So that's great. Hopefully we can get them. They'll allow us to jump really high. So here we go. There we go, there's the first super jump of the run. Second super jump of the run. So that was pretty successful there. We got it almost first try. I attempted to do a crawl boost there. Uh, basically, if you crawl off a ledge, you get crazy speed, but that didn't exactly work for me. That's okay, we have two more chances in the run to get that crawl boost. In this screen, we're going to use momentum manipulation here. And... good. So what I've done is, I've gotten the momentum from that cannon, and I've conserved it by jumping precisely when I hit the ground. And that allows me to conserve that momentum and go really fast. So thanks for the good luck, people in chat. Oh, we uh, took it from a spider. That's okay. I'm sure it was a well-meaning spider. Here's another super jump. First try. <laughs> no problems then. One frame tricks. No problems. Here we have a bit of an auto-scroller, it's kind of long and dull, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but I can, uh, I can read what's going on in the chat. I am reading the chat, so if anyone has any questions, just go ahead and chuck them in there. I would be interested to read and answer them. Also, I do highly recommend that anyone who hasn't played this game, or anyone who has played this game, pick it up. Uh, it's really good for speedrunning. Alright, so this spider boss here, there's a bit of uh, RNG to it. There's really no way to manipulate the RNG. So basically we're going to hit him four times, which is the most we can here. And then we're going to wait for a really long and tedious animation of the spider coming down. How long? Yeah, it's, uh, it's about 15 minutes. But... The reason why I'm a tiny bit nervous is that the last time this game appeared in a marathon was at ESA and a new soft lock was found, never known before, and it forced them to enter a passcode to continue the run, which was a little tragic. So uh, how about let's not soft lock the game. That's my main aim of the run. Second goal is to get a sub 15.30 time, which we're on pace for right now. Price? Price of the game? Uh, I mean, it's basically a typical Genesis game, so maybe 5 to 20 dollars. But you can also get it on emulator, you can use PAL on, or NTSC cards, it's all fine. So I don't like this level coming up, so uh, I'm gonna skip it. This is kind of precise, but not really. I actually did it on my casual playthrough of the game, because I remembered watching the speedrun. <laughs> oh. Alright, we got the good speed. So we're just going to kind of cruise along the bottom of the screen here until we get to the end. So that's good. That's much faster than doing the, uh, the normal level. So again with these clouds, I want to get the momentum from the clouds and then jump precisely so that I can conserve that momentum. There's a little bit coming up where I'm going to try and do that on a piano. And if I get it really good, uh, that's that'd be nice. <laughs> Let's try that. Ah, uh, that wasn't so good. It is possible to get in front of that bird by just having really good momentum conservation. 
<laughs> Mickey divorced Minnie. Uh, I don't know anything about that. I'd say it's all speculation. Wow. Whoops. <laughs> this is kind of the easiest boss in video games, so try not to take a hit there. Whoops. Started my uh, start spamming a little early. <laughs> That's fine. Sorry we're skipping the story. If anyone's interested about the story, then uh, play the game yourself. I recommend. There's only a couple interesting things about the water. Basically, if I don't touch the ground and I keep the so-called fast speed, then I'm good. So I'm going to attempt to do that. I'm gonna do a little damage boost here. And this bit should be fine. Now the next bit coming up uses another physics sort of glitch in the game. And that is that if you jump off the very edge of a platform, you get a boost. You actually jump further. So there's a, a sequence of clams and I'm going to try and jump off the edge of them and if I don't then I'll actually lose a cycle and uh, possibly a lot of health. So let's try not to do that. I'm also going to try and do another crawl boost. So hopefully we get that. Crawl boosts are not easy. Like, they're very precise. So I can't promise anything, but let's give it a go. Ah, uh, we failed the crawl boost, unfortunately. That's not too bad for time, though. So here are some clam jumps. I want to jump right on the edge of these clams, otherwise I might not make it across. And we're good! So that was a very good clam section, aside from missing that crawl boost. I'm going to take a damage boost here. The thing about damage boosting is that Mickey has a whole animation of when he gets hit. It's sort of long animation. We skipped that by crouching there. So you'll see me do a quick crouch in order to efficiently take damage. This bit's fairly straightforward, it's just memorizing uh, where the enemies are. There are some damage boosts here, but I'm not going to go for them because I don't have a good health situation. I might go for one right at the end though. I don't get hit here. Okay. <laughs> That's one way you can do that. This is a relatively new piece of tech, which is uh, crouch running underneath those. That's not intended in the game. Uh, we're sort of just tricking it, but it is indeed faster than just crawling, so we do that. And we'll do it again there. This boss is a little scary, it's uh, the shark. Try not to get too scared. Left or left or right glove? Well, I'm right-handed, so maybe Mickey's right glove. So, pretty much, the spider at the start is the only boss with RNG, including the final boss in the game. So you should see me breeze through the rest of the, the bosses here. No trouble at all, it's just memorizing their patterns and uh, dealing with them. So, here come two more super jumps. We're going to try and do two more one frame tricks and jump off some staples. So, let's see how this goes. Second try, not bad. Third try, not bad. So, we just saved like maybe 17 seconds over doing the level the normal way. We skipped whole parts of the level just by doing those super jumps. So that's very convenient. 
It is, it's pretty scary. This, this could be a horror game. Maybe they classified it wrong. Jumping off these clouds is kind of precise. If you don't jump straight away, you, you kind of get sucked into the cloud, and then you can't jump out of it very well. But there, we had no issue. You need counseling. Well, hopefully you can find some. This is the easiest screen in the game. I'm gonna do one input and then nothing. Ready? And we're good. Drink some water. We should run Echo. I might give it a try someday. I haven't beat that game yet. But uh, when I get my Mega Everdrive, I will give it a go. So basically the reason we can uh, do no inputs there is because that cake was at the end which refills our health. So there was no trouble there. The next boss coming up is the witch. I'm going to attempt to do a quick kill on the witch. Basically requires a few precise attacks, so let's see how that goes. And that was the quick kill. That's, I'm pretty happy about that actually. It's not trivial. They're kind of precise jumps. Yeah, pretty intense auto-scrolling action. You, you fly through space. This bit is kind of difficult. I, I usually take a hit there just because it's very difficult to avoid the enemies. And I'll take another hit here, and that's okay. Thankfully we can uh, jump over the rest of the riffraff there. This bit is really hard to do casually, but in the speedrun, we actually start getting on the platforms before they move up, down, left or right. So that bit's very easy. You basically just run, and then jump. I hesitated a bit there so that these cards appear and I don't run to my death. That's what that was about. Everyone's too scared of the game. It's just a game, it's okay. Although this room's it's pretty scary this room. I've gotta I've gotta warn you. There's some shocks coming up. First of all, I'm going to avoid these fireworks and take a hit. That's okay though. So ready? Uh, you see that hole? It looks like a small hole. No, it's a big hole. Wow. That's pretty terrifying. I hope no one's too scared. I'm going to try and stand on nothing here. Whoa, I'm standing on nothing. And just here I'm going to take an intentional damage boost, uh, just so that I don't lose any time leaving this room. So here the stairs are your worst enemy. It's... I, I just really don't want to fall off the stairs, and I'm going to just not fall off the stairs right here. Right, here we go. Do a damage boost, and we didn't fall off the stairs! That is amazing. Uh, I have admittedly lost a few PV pace runs to falling off the stairs there, trying to do a damage boost. I'm going to do another damage boost just there. It allows me to get up the stairs much faster than uh, trying to attack those people. There is a soft lock up here. I'm not going to do it though. So, sorry if anyone was expecting a soft lock. If I jump at a precise time, Try and do one more crash boost here. Uh, we failed the first two, but 
<laughs> we failed the third as well. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's very difficult to do, and unfortunately to get a world record, you basically need to do all three of them. So that's fun. And we're coming up on the final boss. Who is amazingly easy. The final boss has... Whoops. I did a bit of a crawl boost there. No RNG here, so uh, we just sort of hit him a few times. We stand on this specific spot so that we can't get uh, hit by the lava below. Or whatever it may be. <laughs> Blue stuff that kills you. Alright, uh, hopefully we're ready to stop the timer. The time comes up when the screen fades to black, I will tell you when. It's quite soon. And... time. Alright. So that was World of Illusion. And hopefully, since I'm a bit underestimate, I can uh, get up to the special thanks in the credits. Because we do want to give special thanks to Bert. Thank you for having me, Nerods. Yes. <laughs> That's okay, you, you've been awake for a while. I'm uh, surprised you can say as much as you're saying. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I guess I'll pop off here then. Unless we want to wait and say thanks to Bert in the credits. We've got some nice fake credit names right here. Sevenly Big King was the artist for this game, everyone. <laughs>